What's up guys? This is uh, my first video on YouTube actually and it's going to be a recap video of this right here which is a 20 pack and hit box I got from Target for 20 bucks as you can see in the corner there. So it's uh, not too bad. Uh, it's not, not too bad price wise. So you get a lot of packs. I got uh, a lot of uh, 2012 tops. I got a lot of hit 2013 hit. I got uh, a couple like decent packs. I got a couple of uh, 2010 classics and an absolute memorabilia stuff like that. So you know you get your your money's worth. Uh, but you get a lot of cards out of it. So if you're just looking to collect cards, it's a good buy too. But um, I'm just gonna go over some of the hits. I didn't get you know too uh, detailed with it, but I do have a couple nice hits that I got here. I'm gonna start off here with the Tall Boys <clears throat> that I got out of the 2012 tops. We have a Adrian Foster right there and a Jermaine Grisham sorry if I'm pronouncing these wrong probably am um, we have a Pat Angrier <laughs> funny last name now this is one I'm not too sure on I actually have to check to see what this is it's a Joe Namath uh, obviously it's a flashback card you know it's a it's a redone card, but it's full sized and it looks like it's off of the same style as the Tall Boys are, but they're, it's not a mini. So um, I, I'm not assuming that these are very rare by any means. I mean, you probably pull them quite frequently, but I thought it was pretty cool that you know you get a, a full size one in there too. Um, now, I mean, these aren't necessarily hits, they're just kind of inserts that were thrown in. Um, just, you know, like. I'm not going to pronounce these names just because I don't know how. But, um, you know, we've got ones like this, which are pretty cool. We actually have a, this one's pretty cool. I enjoyed getting this one. It's a uh, classic quads. It's a Jets. All Jets. You got Curtis Martin in there. Uh, you know, some pretty cool names. It's nice and shiny. It's nice and glossy. It's just a pretty card. It's a nice insert. Um, I got a 08 first edition. And then an 08 upper deck, and that's what I got these two Star Quest cards out of. This is kind of like a bronze, uh, it's a Chris Long. It's kind of like a bronzy, it's nothing special on the back, it just says Chris Long on the back. But it's a, it's a pretty nice card, it's pretty glossy. And then we got um this guy, I'm not even going to pronounce his name. But um, if you're a Giants fan, go for it. It's a nice Star Quest card, it's uh, just a first edition it says on the back, because I pulled it out of a first edition. Now, um, I got, like I said, a lot of the hit, and I pulled actually a couple cool names out. I got a Geno Smith, which is, uh, it's pretty cool. And I got a Spotlight of Eddie Lacy, which I thought was pretty cool also. Um, I got a flashback card again of the same guy, actually. I have another card of him back there, so that's pretty cool. Another flashback card, and then, you know, you get the, the, um, Paramount Pairs. Uh, John Elway, uh, cool name, uh, Des Bryant, and a Justin Blackman, um, and then they got these couple, uh, little tops inserts that they throw in there, I don't know what they call them, but you got an Andy Dalton, Joe Flacco, and Antonio Brown, so you know, not a bad thing, but, um, I got a couple more here, not a couple left, I got a couple of those, um, couple of those gold bordered parallels that you get in the 2012 tops and of course they're both numbered uh, to um, right there on the back 2012 so you know it's a pretty uh... these are pretty nice cards gets the gold sparkly borders and uh... I guess I put them in penny sleeves um, so you get some cool uh... cool things I actually wanted to show you guys something that I thought was pretty cool I pulled out of uh... The rack pack. Look at this card right here. It's um, so Rex Grossman, as you can see on the back, but it was chopped off in production. Um, as you can see, that's where like, you know, the top of the pack would be, and it got cut in half, and then you have the imprint. Uh, I just thought that was you know kind of a cool thing. You know, someone might want it. It's a it's a cool variation to have. Um, you know, not obviously not a lot of them. It's kind of rare. So you know, I just thought it was something cool, something interesting to pull out. And, um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I, uh, this is my first video, like I said. I actually have another one of these that I'll probably break and then do another recap video for if these start getting some attention. 
Um, I'm going to be putting up a couple videos of, uh, you know, cards I have for sale. Oh, I actually did, by the way. You get the one hit right there, I forgot to mention. And they do come um, just by themselves in between the packs. And it's a uh, Wendell White rookie jersey. You know, not numbered, obviously. It's one of those SPX things that you get in most retail boxes that you buy that guarantee hits. They throw these in there. But, um, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. Anyone who's a Lindell White fan, you know, might be interested in it. Uh, it's also in a penny sleeve. But, you know, I got some videos, like I said, coming up, and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I'm going to start putting up a lot more. This is my first one. But uh, if you like what I'm seeing, you know, if you want me to break some more stuff, or uh, actually break some stuff on video, I will. Just let me know what's going on, what you guys are interested in. And uh, leave comments. All those cards that I showed you, by the way, are for sale. None of them I have any intention on holding on to. Uh, message me or email me. Um, I'll leave my email in the description below. So have a good one, guys, and I'll see you later.